Hello guys, as we know very well that today's life is very rush on and due to this we forget the daily needs of our indoor plants to put them in sunlight. That is the most common reason that our plants are unhealthy. Due to the lack of sunlight, plants are going to the last daddy stage. This do not only affect the plant's life but also affects our life. So today we will design a smart plant pot prototype that is based on the small robotic base. It helps the plant to chase good intensity of light so that it becomes healthy. This is Bhupendra Singh and you are watching our YouTube channel SME Dehradun. So to design this project we need the following components and modules. Note them down for your reference. This is the complete circuit diagram for this project. You need to connect all the hardware as per this circuit diagram. So now let's connect the hardware. This is a small robotic base. We have specially designed for this project. We have required two DC motors, two wheels, a freewheel and a robotic chassis. I have already connected the DC motors with wheels as you can see. This is L293 d motor driver. With the help of this motor driver, we will drive our robotic pod. This is the circuit diagram to connect the motors with L293D motor driver. Let's connect the L293D motor driver as per this circuit diagram. It's done. This is the small box that I am going to attach to the robot chassis so that we can put the attachments like board and battery in it. This is an Arduino Nano board. We will control our smart pet plant port with the help of Arduino Nano. As we are using 12 volt DC motors on it, so we also need the 12 volt to 5 volt DC step down module. We have designed it. If you want to design it, then this is the circuit diagram. You can design this step down module with the help of the circuit. This is an LDR sensor module that I am going to use to sense the light intensity. It has three pins. VCC, data and ground. We take two LDR sensor for it as we will place them to the both side of the pot to detect the better light intensity. Let's connect them as per the circuit diagram. I am connecting the data pins of the LDR sensor to the A0 and A1 pins of the Arduino Nano board. So our connection has been done. Now I am placing the sensor in the top of the pot. One sensor I have placed in the front side of the robot and another sensor to the back side. So our smart pad plant pot is ready. Now time for the programming code. Go to the video description and click on the download link to download the programming code. This link will redirect you to my github repository. Here click on the code button and then download zip. 
once code is downloaded go to the download location you will get the programming code zip file with name robotic pet plant master right click on it and click on extract here and guys if you don't have winzip or winrar software to unzip it then a link is available in the video description you can download these software from there so go inside this folder and you will get the programming folder go inside this and open this with arduino id in the top of the programming code i have defined the pins of the motor one side motor is connected to the 9 and 10 number pins and another side of the motor is connected to the 11 and 12 number pins of the arduino nano here we have taken a few integers to store the data below in the setup function we have defined the motor pins as output and we put all the motors low so that when sensor senses the sunlight then they can make decisions to move accordingly now we store the analog value of the ldr sensor to the east variable that is placed in the front side of the robot and store the value of ldr sensor that is placed in the back side of the robot in the west variable now we have mapped the value to m east and m west between 0 to 100 while values are less than 60% in both the sensors then we stay our pet plant where it is but if the pet plant found a good source of light then we go to the else state inside the else statement we have comparing the light intensity that sensed by the sensors if front side sensor has sensed the greater light than the back side then we move our pet plant to the forward direction if the sensor of the back side found high intensity of light then the pet plant moves to the back side so this is the complete program for the pet plant now program the arduino nano board connect your arduino nano board to the computer go to the tools tab in the board section select the arduino nano again go to the tools and in the processor select the atmega 328 old boot loader as i have an arduino nano with an old boot loader if you have the arduino nano with the latest boot loader then select atmega 328 now go to the tools tab and select the port as i have com9 after it click on the upload button as you can see the program has been successfully uploaded to the board now time to the testing of the pet plant we have chosen a place where light intensity is low so that we can demonstrate it perfectly let's power it up through the 12 volt battery as you can see our port is in stable condition while we put the light on one side then our pet plant move forward towards light and it will stop when it is getting a good source of the light while we put the light on the ldr sensor at another side then it moves towards that direction so our project prototype is working fine this project is very innovative for the community the advanced version of this project is already patented and all right reserved to helitech startup private limited company so thanks for watching please like and subscribe to my channel and video stay tuned for more innovation